Life is so short and oh so sweet Life in the sun is such a treat Do what you want to do I'll stay in the view Don't let it pass you by No point in feeling blue Our days are only few Make your dreams come alive If your skin is falling apart, melting in oil or basically just giving up on you it might well be time to speak about skin hydration. In your day and night creams, you probably have both hydrators and moisturizers. Hydrators are substances that contain water, so thanks to their hygroscopic properties, they really, really love water and absorb it from the nearby environment, helping to increase skin hydration. These substances are also called humectants, and an example is the really famous glycerin. Moisturizers are substances that help retain water by forming occlusive layers. These protective films help to keep moisture in place, preventing water loss. Famous examples are Vaseline, Waxes, oils and silicones. Our skin contains both water and oil, secreted by the sebaceous glands. So, if you look to both the water and oil content of your skin, when water content is high and the oil quantity low, your skin is well hydrated and probably normal, while if also the oil content is high, your skin will tend to be oily. If both the water and oil content is low, your skin will be most probably dry. If your skin is dehydrated and oil content is high, your skin is dry oily. This is not like the combination skin, where some spots are dry and some oily as in the T-zone. This skin is dry in the lower layers and the sebaceous glands counterbalance dryness by producing more oil, giving the skin an oily appearance. To have a well hydrated skin, you must be aware of the cleansing washes you use. Some harsh ingredients are powerful enough to damage the skin barrier. For example, sodium lauryl sulfate is so harsh that it can easily extract lipids and absorb skin proteins, which is not good. Here is a list of bad ingredients or good ingredients that you can find in cleansers. Pause the video to check if any of these is listed among the ingredients of your detergent. For sensitive skin, a good suggestion could be colloidal oatmeal which is just a dispersion of fine oat flour in water. This has antifungal and anti-inflammatory properties. It contains saponins, so it's good for cleansing. It moisturizes and helps calming the skin. For people allergic to gluten because of possible cross-contamination during production, make sure to look for certified gluten-free oatmeal. Moisturizing and hydrating skincare products may contain several ingredients, but what is most important for these products to do their job is their absorption in skin. So let's talk about skin penetration. The skin is like a sieve, and only small molecules can pass through and be absorbed. Bigger molecules will just sit on it and be of little use. An example is the hyaluronic acid, which is too big to pass through. Hyaluronic acid is an essential component of skin, but when it's applied topically, like with a cream, it will not go deeper than superficial cells. Yet, cheer up! Hyaluronic acid was shown to form a film that promotes wound healing, and it's still a good hydrator as it absorbs up to thousand times its own weight in water. For sources, check the info box. And remember, this video does not replace the opinion of a dermatologist or other professional. Thank you for watching!